On day one, I spawned in as a baby fire dragon. Check me out. Razor sharp teeth and a pair of wings. I jumped out of the nest trying to fly. Oof. Guess I'm gonna need some practice. Just then, I heard scurrying coming from behind me. It was a bunch of spiders. I didn't have any weapons, and I tried to fight the spiders, but they were too strong. I ran off to safety. I made my way back down the mountainside, harvesting as many trees as I could find. I used the wood to build a workbench, and with that, some basic wooden tools. Just then, I smelled something. Wait, are those dogs? It was a pack of wolves. The wolves didn't want to give me a chance and attacked. Guys, stop! My wooden sword wasn't very effective, so I had to retreat. Luckily, I got away. I got to work building a shelter. I added a few chests and found some wool to make a bed. There we go. That's much better. By now, it was getting dark. Time to turn in. On day two, I woke up to a strange sound. I saw my mom in the distance. I went to go and see her, but there was a dragon slayer. I was about to go see if I could help when he attacked with a magical sword. Mom! No! He killed her. Wait, what did she leave behind? It looked like a crystal dragon heart. Put that down! That's my mom's. I chased after him. I ran and jumped. Wait, I can fly. Oh, no. I wasn't used to it, though. And I crashed down. I knew I wasn't ready, but someday I will be. I was really upset and decided to fortify my base even more and crafted some stone weapons and killed some cows to make leather armor. On days three to four, I had the worst dream. The dragon knight was there, standing in a ruined castle. I saw my mom's dragon soul. But what were those? More? The four souls floated over the night and he absorbed their power. He transformed into the biggest dragon I've ever seen. I tried to get up, tried to fight, but I couldn't. All I could was watch as the elder dragon came closer. No, not like this. Ah, I woke up. Was that a dream or a vision? Where am I? What's that smell? I followed my nose. The scent was getting stronger the closer I got. What was I smelling? Ah, chickens. I couldn't help myself. I attacked them and ate them. Oh man, that's so much better. Just then, an arrow flew past my head. Hey, who goes there? Please don't hurt me, villager. I was so hungry. A uh, baby fire dragon. My name's Taryn the farmer. Are you okay, little one? Not really. A dragon slayer attacked my home and took away my mom. I woke up here. The villager told me that isn't even the worst one. There's a dragon slayer king. He took the throne by force, killing the friendly king. He offered me a place to rest. Thanks. My name is Fozo, by the way. Good to see a friendly face around here. Ah, a nice, cozy fire. On days five to six, we awoke to the sound of fighting. I ran outside and saw Terran getting attacked by the dragon slayers. They were trying to steal his crops. Don't worry, I'll help you. I leapt in, swinging my wooden sword. It wasn't very effective. Suddenly, I felt a great heat rising from my belly. Fire breath, nice. And there's a slayer, down for the count. The other dragon Dragon Slayers ran. Yeah, go, you cowards. I started to feel stronger. My wings felt much better and I grew. Ten hearts. Amazing. I'm a full-grown fire dragon now. The villager told me that they were looking for me. I should probably get out of here. Since I grew, I needed to expand my size in my home. And I was lucky enough to find a huge volcano. I knew this was perfect for my future sanctuary. I gathered more materials and even found some iron to make the iron tools. Nice. I built up the rest of my home and planted a garden. I saw I was getting late and decided to get some rest. On day seven to eight, I ventured out on my base to look for food. I needed to find some chickens of my own. Ah, there's some. I landed and tried to grab them, but it was a trap. I was surrounded by dragon slayers again. This doesn't look good. Take this. Who's that? He uses special lava power on the knights. Ha, right on. Man, those guys are terrible. What's up, dragon? Haven't seen a fire dragon around here for a minute. Thanks for the help. Uh, my name's Fozo. Cool, nice to meet you, my friend. Stick to it and one day you'll be as powerful as me. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, do you want to team up and come to my base? Man, I would love to, but I got some stuff to do. Tell you what, take a sip of this magic lava. It'll perk a fire dragon like you right up. Whoa, I feel great. And I have fire hearts now. Right on. Well, thank Thank you, Preston. I left Preston and I followed the chickens a little further, but it was then I ran into the knight's camp. There's so many. I wonder if I can take them all on. Wait, is that? That's my villager friend, Terran. I couldn't let him suffer, so I flew right on top of the camp, smashing the cage and breathing fire to scare away the knights. Fozo, thanks for the save. Don't thank me yet. Let's get out of here. We booked it back to Terran's farm. It had been completely destroyed, so I offered him a place at my base. I helped Terran grab his crops and chickens, and we made it back to my mountain, where we expanded the farm and built his chickens a pen. On days 9 to 10, I had another dream. Or should I say vision? It was my mom again. Mom, I miss you. Remember, my son. Follow your heart. It will shine brighter than the stars themselves. What does that mean? Mom, wait, come back. But she vanished. I woke up. The stars, huh? They're sure up there, all right. But I wonder what she meant. Next morning, I met with my villager friend and asked him about the dragon hearts. He told me that he didn't have a good idea. But the local wizard, Phil, might know more. He lives nearby. Thanks, Taryn. I'll definitely go see him. Before I left, I did a bit of digging into my volcano. In fact, a ton of iron. I quickly crafted armor. A full set. Okay, looking good. On days 11 to 13, I was soaring across the island when I was hit by an arrow. Dragon slayers? There's more of them? I landed and was about to confront them, but I knew I didn't have strong enough armor or weapons yet. I heard the
the dragon slayers talking. I wanted to hear what they were saying, so I got as close as I dared. Oh man, that knight is coming here? I needed to be way stronger before I could be a match for him. I snuck away from the camp and got back on track. On days 14 to 16, I made it to the wizard's tower. Huh, is anyone home? Suddenly, I was attacked by a huge tiger. Hey, easy there. Play nice, okay? I don't want to hurt you. Stop it, Artemis. You're not a pillager, you stupid furball. It was the wizard, Phil. I was wondering if you can tell me more about the dragon knight. My villager friend Terran sent me. Terran, huh? All right, follow me. I'll show you all you need to know. The wizard led me inside into his tower and showed me a crystal ball. I looked inside. Everything went kind of blurry. Whoa, what's this? This is a vision of the past, yes. For the dragon knight's tale begins eons ago. He was the elder dragon. Dragon, the first of your kind. But he used his power to destroy and conquer the four elemental dragons, your mother included, took away his powers and turned the Elder Dragon into the Dragon Knight. Now it seems the Dragon Knight is after those hearts. The vision ended. But Phil, where are the other dragons? You'll find one at each point of the compass. You were south, so follow your heart and find the others. My heart? Huh, I can feel something. A shake in the earth. Earth. That would be the Earth Dragon. It lives here on this very island. Wow. Thanks, Phil. I'll go find the other dragons and make sure the Dragon Knight doesn't harm any of them. I left, following my heart towards what I hoped would be the Earth Dragon. On days 17 and 19, I came across a huge crater in the Earth. I can feel it. The Earth Dragon's here. But wait, it's surrounded by Dragon Slayers. Get out of my way. Whoa. Is that the Earth Dragon? It has to be. Another dragon? I thought we were the only ones left. Are you okay, Earth Dragon? Those dragons slayers ambushed me i don't have long i will pass my power on to you youngling use it well he faded away i picked up his heart he's still here i can feel him i had one of the dragon hearts that's one less for the dragon knight but i still wish that the earth dragon could have come with me i built him a small monument out of dirt before heading back to the base i'll stop that night i promise on days 20 to 23 i return to my base welcome back fuzu how did it go i have one of the four dragon hearts i can find the rest, but the Dragonite is sure to come for this. If only we had an army. I'm not the best at fighting because my hands are stuck together. We'll find one, Terran. I'm sure of it. We got to work fortifying our base, harvesting more iron from my mine to make the Dragon Tower stout and secure. I also got to work building a Dragon Shrine to hold the hearts I collected. These were too precious to just throw in a box. There. The Earth Heart is secure. Huh. I feel, uh, strange. Something's tugging at my soul. That must be the next Dragon Heart calling out to me. I had it head off immediately. On days 24 to 26, I was still crossing the ocean. Wait, what are those? It was a fleet of warships. It was being led by the head dragon knight. Men, look over there. There flies your prey. You're nothing but a madman. I won't let you get the remaining dragon hearts, you hear me? <laughs> You're too late. As we speak, my most fearsome knights are already extracting their hearts. I suggest you surrender. Never. Fire! I was able to get out of here without taking a hit. It looked like they were heading towards my island, but I know if I don't get the second heart, the entire world could be destroyed. On days 27 to 29, I arrived at land. Man, it's a straight up tundra. It's so cold. I'm a fire dragon, man. This isn't safe for me. I couldn't see any shelter. Guess I'll have to make my own. I dug straight down, finding a small lava cave buried under the snow. Ah, that's much better. Huh, it's actually really warm down here. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't see you there. I'll take him down, all right? Where can I find him? He gave me directions and some fire apples. He said as long as I eat these, I'll be able to stay warm. I was about to leave when I spotted some diamond ore. Hope you don't mind if I uh, take some of this. This will come in handy when I decide to make new armor. I thank my new friend and left, making sure to bury the entrance again. Okay, Fozo, now that we can survive, let's find this dragon and get home. On days 30 to 32, I was still traveling, but I could feel I was close. Huh, there's a village over there. I flew over and found it completely frozen in ice. Even the villagers are frozen solid. Here you go, guys. Guys, I thought out the village and they thanked me. I was about to keep going when I was greeted by an enthusiastic blacksmith. Whoa, this guy's huge. <laughs> 
<laughs> you would do that for me? Thanks. I wanted to see what the blacksmith could do, so I handed him my sword. He took it to the fire and, in a flash, powered it up. It's a flaming sword. Thanks, man. We can use this at our base. With my new friend supporting me, we ran forward into the snow. On days 33 to 35, we made it to the air sanctuary. Well, it would have been if it hadn't been completely frozen over. We made it to the door, but it was locked shut. Well, it looks like we need a key of some sort. The blacksmith walked up to the door and just ripped it off? No, he broke through it. Well, that sure sped that up. Come on, blacksmith. We don't have much time here. It's the air dragon, just like I saw before, and she's stuck in ice. Show yourself, Ice Knight. I know you're here. <laughs> Ice Knight, make this easy on yourself and surrender. We don't have to fight. The Ice Knight lunged forward, shooting his magic at us. I tried my best. He was so strong, but I used my flame against him. It looked like his ice armor regenerated his health before I could do more damage, though. I can't beat him. Wait, the ground he's standing on, it's ice. My breath attack melted the platform, and down he went. With the Ice Knight defeated, I freed the air dragon. I feel my strength leaving me. Wait, don't fade away just yet. I need your help. With the last of my strength, I grow. Rent you my gift. Just like the other dragon, she vanished, leaving behind her heart. I picked it up and felt a rush of wind. 20 hearts! Thank you, Air Dragon. I won't let you down. On days 36 to 38, I returned to my base at the blacksmith and got him settled in. I built him a new forge and hut. We'll definitely need these magic swords against the dragon knight. I also had to make use of the diamond I found, so I used it to both upgrade my armor and tools. This dragon tower is gonna be amazing. Nothing will let us down. Last but not least, I placed the air heart into the shrine, safe and sound. When I returned to the base, the blacksmith and villager wanted a word. What's up, guys? Getting along okay? I used to read about the legendary dragoons. No one knows where they went. My blacksmith friend knew where they were because he fixed their swords before. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'll go check it out and see if they want any help. I hope the dragoons would want to help. Deep down, though, I know they would. On days 39 to 43, I made it to the mainland and looked for the address that the blacksmith had given me. It led me to a small village in a lush forest. I accidentally set a tree on fire and had to quickly put it out. I tried to ask for help, but no one wanted to talk to me as I almost burnt down the village. I'll find is home myself, I guess. I found it, but there's no one here. I was about to leave when I heard someone cough. It was a young villager. They told me that they knew where the dragoon went. Apparently, they weren't popular anymore. I followed the villager out of town in a small keep in the shade of the forest. There, I was introduced to the dragoon leader. He told me his name was Corvo. He said they thought all the dragons were dead when Dragonite took over. Well, I'm here to bring you back to our duty, Corvo. Serve me, the fire dragon. Corvo said he'd help, but his army was already committed to bringing down one of the Dragon Knight's minions, the Fire Knight. We spent the night planning our attack. With that taken care of, we settled in, getting our rest before the big siege. On days 44 to 46, we launched our attack on the fire key. Their walls were strong. It was then I saw him, the fire knight. He was looking right at me. <laughs> with pleasure, I hit him with all my fury, but it had no effect. He shot a fireball at me. He was intense. The fireball was intense. It took me to the ground. The fire knight loomed over me, ready to strike. I channeled my other powers. Ha! Take that, fire knight! <laughs> After I took out the Fire Knight, the Dragoons agreed to follow me in my mission. We leveled the base with TNT and looted their chests. A ton of gold, diamond, and health potions. We loaded up and made the long journey back to my base. I was feeling confident we would make it through this. On days 47 to 50, I returned with the Dragoons. I introduced them to my friends and built them a bunch of homes to live and train in. I was checking on my progress when I saw the Dragon Knight. He was standing alone in the open. I've come to offer you a chance to surrender, Dragon. I know what you'll do with the Dragon Hearts, and I won't let you get away with it. You reject my offer of peace? Let your death be on your own head then. This is your final warning. Go back to your keep. He turned and left. I wanted to get him, but I didn't want to risk a trap. He had the fire dragon heart though. I'd get it back soon enough. I had one last heart to find, the ice dragon. On days 51 to 53, I was preparing for my next journey when I found lava infused ores. What is this? I decided to bring it back to my blacksmith friend. He had to know the answer. He took the ores and fashioned me a custom dragoon armor set. Thanks, man. He told me it was twice as strong. I'd already been south, north, and east. Only one way left to go. Off I flew in search of the ice dragon. On days 54 to 57, I crossed over the mainland and went back out to sea. No sign of any ships out here. Suddenly, I saw fire in the distance. This can't be good. It was a small island fishing town, and it was under attack by the Dragon Knight Slayers. They'd captured someone. I couldn't leave her in there. I swooped down and slayed the Dragon Slayers. I smashed open the cage, freeing the trapped warrior. <laughs> She introduced herself as Susan. She had been living in exile on this island ever since the Dragon Knight kicked her out of the castle for disagreeing with him. 
I asked Susan if she knew where the ice sanctuary would be. Luckily, she knew the way. Man, my army was really coming along. That night doesn't stand a chance. After a long journey on days 58 to 60, we arrived at the ice sanctuary. But wait, it's swarming with dragon slayers. Come on, Susan. Let's get them. Wait, where did she go? She was taking them single-handedly. Look at her go. What a legend. I needed to free these villagers. The villagers thanked us and apologized for letting the water knight into the temple. Don't worry, guys. You did what you had to, but I'm here to save everyone. If you guys can open that door for me, that'd be amazing. The villagers bucked up and let me in. Thanks, guys. Come on, Susan. Let's do this. On days 61 to 63, we found the ice dragon, and it reminded me of when I was an ice dragon for 100 days. Make sure to go check that video out. Anyways, that was weird. Water knight, stop. He has a magic sword. I was too slow. The water knight killed the ice dragon. How could you? I launched myself at him, channeling my full fury into my attacks. But when he struck back, that magic sword did a ton of damage. It took away half my hearts. You're no match for me, dragon, now that I have the ice heart. He threw an item on the floor, and it teleported him. Come on, Susan. Let's go. We use the item, too. We appeared on a beach somewhere. Where'd he go? It was a sunken keep. That had to be where the water knight was holed up. Susan wanted to attack directly, but I talked her down. We can't get hurt right now. It's too dangerous. We built a campfire and got planning, restoring our health with our supplies and making sure our gear was good to go. On days 64 to 66, we surveyed the keep. It didn't take long before we noticed a gap in the outer wall. We pressed deeper into the keep until, what are these? Fish tanks? And they're full of drowners. What's that knight up to? We freed the drowners and led them back out of the keep. We were about to head back inside when the water knight reappeared. He drew his sword. Wait, what's wrong with this thing? My drowners! We set them free, water knight, and now it's time to take back that dragon heart. I refuse! Dragon heart, give me strength! There's a blinding flash of light. The water knight had transformed into the ice dragon. He flew away. I was about to follow, but Susan stopped me, saying we should regroup with our army first. Ugh, you're right. Before we left, the drowners came up to us. They thanked us for saving them and gave me the Water Knight's sword. Wow, thanks guys. This will definitely come in handy. On days 67 to 69, we returned to the base and found it under attack. Susan and I rolled through the Dragon Slayers. My powers are really starting to grow in strength. Phew, there they go. Come on guys, let's get to work repairing this mess. We got to work cleaning up after the battle. I figured the blacksmith would want to see my sword, so I showed him it. What do you think? Aww. I gave him the Water Knight sword, and he fused the two together into an Ultra Sword. With the rest of the materials in my hand, I was able to finish my base. Now that's a Dragon Tower. One last thing is to also complete the Dragon Shrine. I wanted this to be a special place in honor to every dragon. On days 70 to 72, I woke to the sounds of cannon fire. Are we under attack? No, it's the Dragon Knight's keep. The Ice Dragon is attacking it. Let's be smart about this. I think I have a plan. Later that night, I took Terran with me to the Dragon Knight's keep. All right, you remember the plan we went over, right? You just got to get the Fire Heart and bring it back. Think you can do it? It's an honor, Fozo. I'll try my best. Good luck, buddy. I was worried about my villager friend. The battle sounded fiercer and fiercer. Come on, buddy. I know you can do it. Oh, there he is. Up on the wall, and he has the heart. Good job, Terran. Wait, who's that behind him? It's the Dragon Knight. Terran, look out. He's got a sword. Look, I have the heart. Oh! Pathetic, farm boy. You'll pay for that. Fireheart, grant me your power. He transformed into a fire dragon again. No, that's not yours to use. The fire dragon attacked, but I can sense he wasn't at full power. One big fireball should stun him. Yes, there we go. I gotta get out of here. You only delay the inevitable, fool. On day 73 to 75, we braced ourselves for the worst. It feels hopeless. <laughs> Aw, oh, man. Another attack? I flew to the top of the tower to see the ice dragon with the blacksmith in a cage. Hey, give him back. Hand over the remaining hearts within the week, or this blacksmith drowns. <laughs> On days 76 to 78, we were about to set off to find my blacksmith friend when I was visited by the wizard Phil. The wizard revealed to me that there was actually five dragon hearts. Five hearts? There's a fifth dragon? I was confused and wanted to get the fifth one. He gave me a schematic for a build. Thanks, Phil. There's no time to lose. Let's see. Sand, wood. I put it all together. What is this? It's just a wall of glass. Wait, no. It's a mirror. I stared into it. Where's the fifth dragon? Suddenly, I got pulled through. It was a portal to where? I looked around, but couldn't see anything. Wait, it's a sea of stars. I'm in space. Just then, I saw it. A massive starlight dragon. I sense the dragon heart within you, young one, but you are still weak. 
inexperienced. Train with me and claim your birthright. Okay then, I'm ready. Let's do it. I spent day 79 to 81 training with the Starlight Dragon. It was tough, but with each session, I grew stronger and stronger until eventually... Stop! I yield. You have bested me, young one, and learned all I can teach you, save for one last thing. I felt my body fill with light. I breathed fire. The heat was ten times what it had been. Take my heart, little fire dragon. Fill the sky with the power of the streaking starlight. Thank you, starlight dragon. I was suddenly teleported to my base. Huh, was that dragon in my heart all along? That must have been what my mom meant. I had even more hearts. Twenty-five. I could also sense the other dragon hearts like never before. The ice dragon is nearby. Let's settle this. Days 82 to 85 were spent speeding across the planet in pursuit of the ice dragon. I followed him across many different biomes. Everywhere we went, he left destruction in his wake. Villages flooded, beaches ruined, lakes overrun. This has to end. He must also be after the ice heart. Well, not if I can get there first. On days 86 to 88, I arrived at what looked like a completely frozen spring. I can sense the ice dragon. He must have landed here to heal up. That means he's close. <laughs> It was a little monkey. He was freezing in the ice water. I got you, buddy. I can take the heat. I used my fire powers, and it all got the springs back in a working order. There you go. I hope that helps. <laughs> Because I helped the monkey, he told me where the ice dragon was. The monkey gave me a fist bump, and I was off. Ice dragon, your time has come. On days 89 to 91, I came upon my old foe. He was in a village's lake, freezing the town. And there he was, my blacksmith friend. I've come to take you down. The ice dragon attacked, but after all I'd been through, he was no match for my fury. Take this. I let out my star fire. He reverted back to his human form. It can't end like this. Ah! The Dragon Knight. He's here. I lunged at the Dragon Knight. He seemed to be defeated, but it was too easy. I'm just a decoy. The real Dragon Knight should be in your base by now. My base? No, 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 no. Come on, let's get out of here. On days 92 to 95, we made it back to the base. Oh no, it's burning. Looks like Corvo and Susan are holding the line though. But where's the Dragon Knight? <laughs> On it. I made it to the shrine. I'm too late. It's in ruins. The Dragon Knight had the hearts. Once I fully absorb the power of these hearts, this planet is mine. He teleported away. No. I made it back to my friends. They both seem discouraged. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. I'll admit, I'm not sure how we're gonna stop this guy. Just then, the ground began to shake, and a huge beam of red light shot up from the nearby keep. So it's begun. Days 96 to 99 pass in a blur of preparation. The blacksmith handed out molten-infused armor to the dragoons, while I made any final tweaks to my base. There, that's all I can do for now. I kept one eye on the horizon. The final showdown was fast approaching, and whether I was ready or not, I knew I had to face my destiny. On day 100, the battle has started. If we're gonna end this once and for all, I'm gonna have to take out out that dragon knight now let's do this we made our way to the keep the dragon knight was on the roof and the three dragon hearts were behind him so it comes to this eh? any last words dragon it's not too late to stop this madness we can all live in peace never dragon hearts show me your dark power he transformed into the elder dragon i don't know if i can stop this thing i have to try though i hit it with starfire take that but it struck back its breath weapon was insane no i can't give up. I don't think so. I rushed over to the hearts and I touched them. Yes, it worked. I was able to absorb their power. The elder dragon transformed back into the night. No, no impossible. Take this. No! The dragon knight was defeated and all the dragons can now live in peace.